Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your boy Abe's coming to you once more with another music video reaction. And today we are going to react to J01 OAO. Yes, that's what it's called, OAO. <laughs> So we're gonna react to that today and big shout out to the viewer who asked me to react to this. There's actually two songs that they asked me to react to. So I'll see if I react to both. I might react to both of them and then upload this one this week and then upload the other one the next week or something like that. Big shout out to So Cool for recommending these songs. So thank you, So Cool. Thank you for your request and as as pro actually, I don't even know if I said I was going to react to them, but I saw it and you asked me, so here we are, we're going to react to it. What is it called? OAO? OAO, okay. So we'll see, we'll see if we get to La Papam this week or next week, we'll see. Um, but yes, thank you so cool for uh, requesting. Thank you all for being here. And if you are new to my channel and you love the content that you see and you want more, but you're not subscribed yet, Feel free to subscribe to my channel, Moonlight Antonio, where we give you reactions, K-pop, and inspiration from Under the Beautiful Moonlight, as well as hitting that bell for notifications so that you won't miss a single upload. Now, let's get into this video with J01 OAO performance version, because you know I love the performance version, so let's go. Okay. Again, them and th this group and their simple backdrops and the light work. There's a lot of members in this group, man. God. There's a ton of members. Wow, look at the look. Look at how many more members there are. <laughs> it never, it never gets old seeing all these members. I love watching this group do, do this. Dude, look at that hair. I was being quiet for that one. I wanted to see what they was going to do. They, they killed it. I'm not going to lie. That was good. Ah. You've got to love this group. If you can't you can't tell me that you don't love this group. Okay. <laughs> I'm just messing y'all. <laughs> oh, I thought they were going to throw them. I, I, that would have been even more dope if you threw them somewhere. Oh, dude, that was actually pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. That was dope. Stargazer. Oh, well. Yikes. That was good. That was good. I loved every bit of it. J01 with their simple backdrops, their simple little rooms with like the lighting, 
that does like one thing, but then the main piece to resistance, the dance, the performance, the song. And I think that's one of the reasons why I like watching performance videos. When you're watching a music video and you're seeing all of this stuff happen, it kind of takes your mind off of the song and more on what's going on. But j ones performance videos, I like watching them because my mind is focused on one thing, or well, two, two main things, the choreography and the song. So I can hear the vocals, I can hear the rap, I can hear the music style, and I can see the performance. And that's all I really need to see. And J01, give it to me every time. This was actually really good, really good. This was a common K-pop sounding song and they delivered it well, very well. Don't hate on my Japanese boys. Like they, they come through, they come through. I feel like there's more JK pop groups out there and I just don't know what they're called. I actually found one and then lost it. I forgot what it was called. I have to go find uh, the name uh, of the group. But I found one and I lost it as soon as I found it because I, I don't know if I, I don't even know if I wrote down the name of the group. Uh, would have been nice if I did. <laughs> would have been helpful. This is an example, a perfect example of how to do K-pop right as a J K-pop group. Japanese guys coming together and doing stuff like this really excites me. And one of the things I loved about the Breaking Dawn album from The Boys is that, first of all, I didn't even know that they were gonna like flip it on me and start speaking Japanese in the songs. And then they started doing it. And I was just like, cause the song started off in Korean, Breaking Dawn. And once that song kicked off and then the bridge came in and I heard the Japanese and I was just like, that don't sound like Korean. Are y'all speaking Japanese? That Japanese, y'all put Japanese up in here? What? Japanese? And it was just like, you know, so, and then, and then throughout the uh, album, it was just Japanese, Japanese, Japanese. And I was just like, you know, I was gonna do this on the whole album. It was really good. So I love seeing J01 tackling stuff like this and being very good. Was this two years ago? I, I don't think it was two years ago. I, I have a feeling that it wasn't two years ago. Just something in my, in my spirit. Something in my spirit tells me it was not two years ago. I don't know if it's, if it's two years or three years, but this, this song is really good. I like this song. And this is a song that I don't have in my little repertoire. I've got like four albums of J01. Of course, I think I got two albums that are like actually two separate mini albums, but they combined it in one album along with some other songs. And I didn't know about that till after I bought the ones I bought. I'm not gonna rebuy the songs. <laughs> yeah, OAO, I like it. The rap was done brilliantly. Let me say that, the rap was done brilliantly brilliantly. I have nothing bad to say about this rap. They delivered perfectly the way that they needed to. They didn't do too much because there's elements of the song that if you go too hard, it's not going to make sense. Because once you go back to the mellow part when they're singing, it just, it just doesn't, it throws it off. It's like two different kind of styles going on. So the rap was not like totally over the top, but it wasn't too calm. And I like that. It was perfect tone for the rappers to like do it that way. Perfect. They did everything just the way they needed to. Like they didn't overdo it, they didn't underdo it. When we got our steak, it was cooked. It wasn't raw or medium rare. It was well done. Not burnt, <laughs> no blood in there. It was perfect. So I, I didn't mean to compare JL1's performance to the steak, but you know, steak is, is steak, man. You pay a lot of good money for steak. Yeah, this was good. I have nothing bad to say about this at all. Critiques, I don't have any. The performance, the choreography, I just love seeing them do what they do. I take after my mom in that sense. I love seeing them dance. I love hearing them sing. I love the performance aspect. Theatrics is fine, but I, I mainly like performance and song. I'm very musical. And all I want to hear is the song, hear their voices, what they're doing, and 
I want to see the performance. By the way, I did get a request to look at a few other live performances as well. So I will. We have a long way to go with JL1. Like, we haven't even scratched the surface of all the stuff that JL1 has put out. Because they've been out for a while. Like, when I say they've been out for a while, they've been out for, what, four years? I think four or five. I could be wrong. I think it's four, though. So they've been out for a while. They're, like, they're not a new group. They are seasoned at this point. And they know they know who they are as a group at this point. So I'm looking forward to, to hearing more. I knew that they do have a new album. And I have not gotten it yet. I haven't listened to much of it yet, but I will. I will say that what I did here, it sounds very different from what J01 has done. If there's one thing I can say about J01, they love pushing the boundaries of what they can do and what they've already done. They don't like doing the same thing a thousand and one times. It's like they do it, but they don't like doing it as often as they like to do newer and more challenging styles and I do respect them for that because they're really pushing the limits of what they can do and I'm here for it so let's keep supporting our boys let's keep supporting JO1 because they're doing a phenomenal job and uh yeah that's all I gotta say they did an amazing job there's the, no no complaints at all done zero so thank you so cool for recommending this uh MV thank you Rob Pom Pom I will get into that probably maybe right after this since I have a little energy that song gave me some energy so I think I'll do Rob Pom Pom right after this but I probably won't upload it until Monday if that's all right so thank you once again I'm my voice is like dying so I'm gonna get off of here <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in thank you for being here and remember to like comment and subscribe for more content from your boy and until next time it'll be your boy Abe signing out peace love you guys bye